Hi, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where we are at Tarnburg, because I want to go for the From the Ashes DLC. I looked up uh, whether Sir Divish is still here, because his uh, marker wasn't on the map, but now it is, so uh, I have no idea why it wasn't. Uh, and why I read that up, uh, I found a little tip that said, uh, bring enough money so the quest doesn't take so long, too long, so I brought a bit of money. Uh, basically what I did was stealing and selling to uh, to the guy, uh, to uh, the miller in Rete, and also did a, a few uh, rounds of, oh, I still have stolen stuff with me. Uh, um, I did a few, uh, also do a few rounds of uh, tournament. And uh, what's new loot is I think the the chaussures are new and the curas. And then that was the full set. Uh, as well as we also got a mace, a hammer, an axe, a normal sword and a long sword. Uh, but all those weapons were worse than what I had. And by stealing all the stuff, I leveled up stealth, uh, like, significantly to 8 now, so that I'm basically able to do stealth at all. I did do all the pickpocketing things that I can learn from uh, from the miller, so I stand, stood behind him and pickpocketed him, him, like, 300 times, and he stopped uh, making that possible at fi level 5, and then you can uh, uh, do the training option to get level 6 there. What else? Yeah, lockpicking did uh, go up. There's one perk, Luck of the Drunk. That's really great. 30% easier for you to open locks when drunk. That makes it possible to open very hard locks even at low level uh, if you're drunk. You then just have to pass some time until uh, you're ready to go again. Yeah, and all these good did go up by by the tournament, but nothing too special as was. What else did I get here? Cumin killer. I got that passive during the last quest. Um, cumins are afraid of you. There's a fifty percent greater chance they flee from combat, and my strikes do uh, do more damage. So I'm better against cumins now. Uh. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Yeah, that's it. So, and now we're here to speak to Sir Divish, who will be in the upper floor, I assume. Like, right below me now. Or right around the corner? No, not around the corner. We'll try uh, pickpocketing stuff here and uh, not lock pick lock picking and getting stuff here, but I'm not doing that. It's over here. No, that's a private area. Where is he? He's outside. Oh, he went outside. Another hard lock pick chest. Where is he? God damn it! Why is he moving now? He didn't move the last few times. Every time I looked at the map, he was in the end of the castle. There he is. You stupid oaf. God bless you. What troubles you? Can I be of service to you, Sir Divish? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribislavitz. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribislavitz, my locator, Marius. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. Why Pribislavitz of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes, and that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have been back long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed. But I'd be happier if you checked it out. Good luck, Ben. 
Okay, uh, something else on that? I can't even talk to you anymore. Okay. Find his uh, locator at Pribislavitz. Okay. What? My horse can't get here? You stupid horse. Uh, maybe it can't really enter the place because of this gate. Whatever, you will be standing right in front of the uh, this all the time. Ah, there's Mud. Don't know how, how good he is on obedience right now, so I'm just dropping him a meat. It's what I'm doing every now and then to make sure that he's alright. And then I'm continuing. Pribislavitz was to the north of here. Yeah. Okay, fast traveling. There's some, all those junctions are always dangerous for uh, ambushes. Skirmish. Humans were laying in wait and pounce on someone here. Reputation. That's a tray that had got ambushed. We can get Groshen here. It's it's not worth it looting Groshen from uh, foreign enemies. Just don't do it. You do one run where you steal all the red hair armorers. Uh, uh, merchandise uh, from him from his chest. That's. Uh, that's uh, over uh, in the upper, upper, upstairs over his uh, thing where we store the wine in that one uh, hard uh, locked door. You steal all the stuff there and then you go uh, uh, and then you go and sell it all to, to the miller. Have to wait every, every now and then for a few days so that you... Uh, uh, so that you uh, that he gets his money back and we saw a perk activate when we came here in the near the village uh, which is in main level I think no it is burger in towns and villages in their immediate vicinity you have a plus one bonus on everything savage would be the same in the wilds but I assumed we are having skirmishes now in the wilds, but I think the end of the game will take place in cities and have huge fights there. I assume so at least. So uh would would be nice to to have it uh in a way uh to have it then in a way that you you can uh be better there. Discovered camp again. Are these cumins again? They're not. They're bandits. What the fuck? So, this what is? Who are you? You've no business here. I'm Henry. And I was expecting to find you here. What? So Divish's locator went missing around these parts. Well, it seems like he's all out of luck, don't it? Divish ought to have sent someone better than you to Parley. He didn't send me to Parley. He sent me to deal with it. Deal with it? There's plenty of us, and you're on your own. So I'd think twice about how you're going to deal with that. Uh, enough beating around the bush. At him, lads! 
What have we got here? Entertainment. Ah. Raise the alarm! <laughs> Watch out! You ah. Ah. Over here! Ah. everyone! Quick! Ah. Hey! All of you! Gather here! Ah. Raise the alarm! Ah. Is that the ah. best you can do? Alarm! You're dead. It's the wrong one. Yeah. I'm pressing the wrong button every now and then. Don't do this. I'll chop you to pieces, you what? Bring it on. What the fuck? Where is he? That's that guy. Did the other guy back through the floor or did something else? Um, oh, I also got this shield. I didn't uh, mention that. Badish, that's a new weapon that I didn't have before. Want to look at what that weapon even is. It's an axe uh, drop. I have better axes from the tourney. Does anyone has ornamented golden goblet, small golden goblet? Okay, those are worth it. Because it's rarely easier to get huge amount of money than with that. He had, uh, what did he have? A noble hauberk, no, a heavy hauberk. That's better than mine. I'm taking that. Uh, armor, heavy hauberk. Now it's going down now because it's it's uh not good. But we can't. It's too damaged. Okay, we'll have to do that later. Blacksmith. Okay. So, um, this was the guy I spoke to, I think. Taking the marigold decoction for later. What's that sword that you got there? That looks nice. That's a merchant sword. Okay. So we have to find the locator around here. These guys might have... Had him bound and tied in a corner. Help me. Was I over encumbered? Didn't see. Why was I over encumbered? My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalith. My name is Marius Bielek, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived, and so far all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? I'm over encumbered. And by a lot. Why am I that over encumbered? Did I put... Pick up any other weapons? No. I mean, I have this... Oh, the heavy hauberk. Yeah, yeah. So drop all the stolen stuff that I forgot to sell. That are like several thousands of several thousands of uh, of gold. Oh, I could have gone in there to see if Run's buddy is still there. This is a good spot for the rat house. Every village must have one. 
be nice and prominent here. It's on the hillside, so the foundations will stay dry. <coughs> its own little square. Close to the church. Right here. <coughs> so we'll learn about our future village. We definitely must build up that church again. The church is still standing. Good. Good. Whoever built it did a good job. Considering how old it is and what it's been through recently, it stood up well. It won't be an easy job to fix it, but it can be done. Timber alone won't do, though. So we're scouting the village now for potential building locations and it would be best of us to remember that so uh, we later know where to go if we want to build that because I think it's a town builder DSC. Do you just want to go away or what do you want to do? Come on, Marius, tell me. What are you planning here? And can you go faster? Hmm. We could fit at least one tradesman's shop here. Maybe a baker's? A baker. Why at least one? These are three destroyed huts. We can build three huts here. Every one of them could be a shop. Shop in the bottom and then like three to four families of living quarters in the back and at the top. You're thinking too small, man. There's quite a lot of space here. It just needs clearing thoroughly. Then we could even fit stables here. Okay, stables gets a yes from me. The idea. Yeah, do you want to continue? Hmm. Yes, yeah, stables fitting here, yeah. Should I look around for you to continue? Yes, okay. Okay, this is a part that obviously could be skipped because most people don't like walking around slowly around a place that has not much to explore and has been explored already. But I like it that way. Hmm. Main approach road and the stream. The stream could be good for a mill. But I would put it way over there where the river is stronger because the... Uh, uh, this bridge needs reinforcing. It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean and can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Uh, where the, the land is steeper, the river runs faster and has more strength, I think. Um, yeah, it has more strength when it falls uh, from my... Want to to calculate like the the uh, strength of of a water current? You always have to to think of the height as one of the uh, points. Should be uh, 
water density times volume times gravity constant times height should be the force. I can't even see past the trees and ruins whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. All we need is a few good woodcutters. And we won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Ah, okay, woodcutters. We need woodcutters. Do I remember a woodcutter? Kunesh. From, uh, from uh, Scarlet's. Stone foundations. They'll come in handy, and we're close to the stream. Mill. Okay, but more importantly, we need a tavern. Who else would tell me who gives me quests around the area? We need a tavern here. This lower courtyard must be good for something. Lots of space here. That building over there. What do you want to build there? There's a well here already. All the better. Okay, the well is important. Okay, the well and woodcutters would be our highest priority then. The well first, then woodcutters, so we can uh, reinforce the bridge. Uh, and then build all the other buildings from material we uh, cut ourselves. Big space, clean water, close to the village green. A good site for an inn. Okay, we get an inn here. Great. Hmm. That's that then. The most essential surveying is done. Hmm. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes. Absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber. Lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved, but it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. When will you inform Sir Divis? Why wait? I'll head to Townberg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divis. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. Okay, and now we're waiting for uh, Sir Divish. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Pribislavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Ah, he Although, comes from here. It seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self, but at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. There was no reasoning with them. They thought since it was four to one, I'd be no trouble. I expect that was a fatal mistake. Just so, sir. 
No loss. At least they won't be troubling us again. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid! Finally, some good news for this province. I'm badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. But there's a stream here, and a well right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square. In particular, more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle I of the I thought you'd come from the here. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land. But, for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost the king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point, but I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price, but raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. A village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for building will need lots of labour. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound sceptical, lad. But it's a good question. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here, but now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff to take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalitz neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, 
I hereby appoint you to the office of bailiff of the hamlet of Pribislavitz, in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. If you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single groschen from the Talmberg coffers now, with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... I mean... Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honour. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So... We're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rete bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. Take the letter to the Red Hay Bailiff. And what else? Hmm. I wanted to go into the church ruins. That's like the thing that bugged me the most. That I couldn't loot Rand after the fight. Okay. Um that's been a lot of years. That happened to this place. There's the statues around. Okay, I can hop behind the building here. Oh god, no. No, no. No! At least I didn't hurt myself. It was up this ladder that we had our fight. And then the other ladder. Maybe the thing doesn't exist anymore. Lock picking in my own village? What the fuck? Rob nothing. Okay. Whatever. This doesn't look like it could be the same thing. What's this? Cabbage. What? Why would you keep that around? That's old. Like really old. Okay, this is where we had our fight. Wanna see whether uh, something's lying here. Here exactly is where I could run, but he didn't even leave a speck on the woods. Splatter of, bl splatter of blood or something like that. I expected that, but okay. Okay. So, we're supposed to go to the bailiff. Is that still part of the first quest? Yeah, lost in the woods. Okay. To the bailiff, then. Ba -ba -ba. So that uh, that's for the area to reload. So now the area has to reload into uh, the
the building state and for that we have to go uh, to Red A. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna sleep at Perkstein and uh, then we'll start uh, tomorrow's whatever. I'm not interested in fighting now. Um, peasants. Um, peasants, okay. Oh, I was on foot. Hey, you bastard! Show what you made of! You call that combat? Apparently not, because I'm dying. Oh god! Whoa! What the fuck is going on? I hate I hate dogs. I killed my dog hit one. I hate dogs! Dogs are stupid enemies. Dogs are so Oh god! You fucking kidding me, I didn't save. What the fuck, you stupid dog? Okay, that's that guy. Ah, fucking asshole! Why did you de equip my arrows again? Fucking game. And he killed it. What the fuck? A three peasants with a dog. Wow. F fucking assholes. It's ready we have to go to. <sighs> now we have a reason to sleep. To heal all that stuff off. Are we traveling straight through uh, the main quest objective? Seems like that. Okay, uh, if we ever arrive at Rete, I'll start the next episode there speaking to the bailiff. And we're just going to, to Rete on the fast travel now, so... Of course there's more humans. I don't like humans. And as the episode again closes at a bed, uh, we are reading the next book. The New Council by Smith Flaschka of Pardubais. Twas in a time that was long gone, the king of all the beasts, the lion, sent his envoys far and near for all the animals to hear. Everyone, both great and small, must answer to their monarch's call. This command the lion did say, even Prince Eagle must obey and bring all birds upon the wing to come and bow before their king. The king's command by all was heard, they heeded well the royal word. Even the eagle's princely domain could not deny the lion's reign. It, wo it too was subject to the king, who in those days ruled everything. And so the eagle, prince of birth, ob ob obeyed the lion lion's royal words and brought his legions of the air all creatures then assembled there, in one great restless th throng awaiting, anxious to obli oblige their great king. Attentively they craned their necks to hear what orders would come next. Looking down on all his court, the lion started to report why they were all assembled here to hear his words with pricked up ear. Loyal subjects, dearest friends, well I know that to the end you served my father faithfully, as all know well on land and sea. It was by your counsel and your aid, his kingdom of the world he made. This loyalty shall you give me too, for I have placed my trust in you, lords and ladies, princes, knights, subjects of my realm by rights. I am a king of tender years, and so you all are gathered here to 
Advise me each and every one how my dominion should be run. Continues with how the animals advised their king to rule wisely and justly so that his kingdom would prosper and his subjects thrive. All of this, though, is treated of in another book. Okay, and that was the new council. See you tomorrow.